So we're now going to Gramercy Park, the only private park in New York City. Musicians stay in the hotel either on the way up or on the way down. David Bowie, Iggy Pop, Patty Smith, drag queen, junkie, low life of all kinds. It's sort of a timeless place, you know. It's always in a sort of semi state of decrepitude. When I start telling people my family lived in a hotel, it's like, oh wow, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard, you know. I can't jump in to the fact that, like, you know. All these relatives of mine died in the hotel, and part of the reason why they died was because of the way the hotel was. Is our family the way it is because of the hotel, or is the hotel the way it is because of our family? Before he was a big hotelier, Ian was a nightclub entrepreneur. He and Steve Rebell started Studio 54, the ultimate disco. Always been special. My job was to not ruin it. Are you documenting the destruction of a landmark? There's a couple of tenants still living in there that refused to move. Really? <laughs> well, I moved in temporarily about 32 years ago. It's very surreal. But I like it.